Okay, here we can see the sea. Right there is the hinge that I designed. It's part of the blueprints. It's a pretty simple hinge, but it's secure because there is lateral forces whenever the pulleys are mounted. You know. I dig two holes right there. I'm be seeing. I'm gonna be installing these two screws in there. And the spring, the spring tensioner is gonna be in between these two points. So whenever I mount the small spoons, the spools that are supposed to be holding the, the entire bobbin wheel, this guy is gonna be providing the, the correct amount of tension. Hello, this is the basic idea of a donor drill. Usually you can pick up one of these drills at almost any pawn shop for between $25 and $50. Well, I wouldn't dare to use a brand new drill, but at least this one have what I require. I will be using this trigger. And that motor. They're very easy to disassemble. Actually, if you don't pay enough attention, you may finish with pieces and parts in your hands. There you go, the left and right drive. One more time, the trigger. Very important. This guy makes the difference in the machine. And lastly, the motor. This is the gearbox, we don't gonna be using that, but this is the motor. This is gonna be the power plant that we're gonna be using in a, this particular toroidal winding machine. Okay, I am finding basically with a dilemma. I have a motor that have a gearbox. It's a very, very low power consumption motor, which means that Basically, any battery will last very long with this, but it's a very slow motor. This one is totally the opposite. This one takes tons of juice, but it is an unbelievably fast motor. And it, for this particular application, we don't want to go that fast. We actually need certain control, and that is what we are looking forward to do. This is the switch for the small motor. And basically, this switch also is a very low power consumption. This is a very low power consumption setup. And this one, right here, the drill, by the way, this is loose right now, but this is the location of the drill. Okay, and uh, this switch also consumes a lot of power. So, if you don't have a very good battery, if you don't have a really powerful battery, you may be looking forward to have one of the smaller, smallest drills in, the, drills in the market. Just to make an example, I already installed the spring in the bottom. And maybe the next time I will be making the part of the video in which I make the wheels, make the supports, and I make the installation.
Okay, now we're gonna be working in the area of making the ring that holds the bobbin and we're gonna be working in the spool because the spool is at the time at the same time is a pulley, is a spool and is a rail. All of them at the same time. If you look over here clearly, they are a match and there is enough for the hole right there where the pulley, where the little rubber band that I use literally hold this together. So now we're gonna start over here, start matching. I already finished one of them. Okay, and I'm about to start the second one. Finally, I check the size with, with this caliper to make sure that it's the right size. That one need a little bit more. That one need a little bit more. This one is perfect. This one needs a little bit more. Nothing that, that I truly really worry about that. But the only important aspect is if you can see right here, I already have pre cut this entire wheel by the center. This comes out of this. He always sell the 20 package for like maybe $40 or so. And they are very good for this purpose. This will be the supports. There is one already installed right there. Come on, camera. Yeah, baby. That's it. So that is exactly the same thing that is gonna happen with this guy. To the distance to the surface, you know. Okay, here we have very close to the final product. Very much the machine is the, is the one that required the largest amount of work. You know, the rest of this is just putting little pieces and parts all here over there. The machine is already done. Very basically, the the guts on the machine are assembled. I have been using this big pulley. I really thought it was a good idea. I'm not that sure that it, that I'm gonna be using that one. But the machine is assembled. I have a model mount. You can see the more the special model mount. I will not recommend or put this model mount basically in the plans because. The model mount is according to the model that you have. It is used that simple. 
gonna be pulling this thing out of here I'm gonna connect it to the battery so we can test and now you can see the machine running many people may remember that this was the way that I run the first machine I think this machine came out in many areas much better than the first one. Well, I can say that I have learned a lot out of my mistakes. I can say that I have made other mistakes, but this is gonna be a really nice machine.